Listen, I am so elated about what God is doing in your life and my life and the life of his people. Because God is taking the church out of the poverty line. Because the church is waking up. And you, if you still see yourself broke, it's because you haven't done what the word told you to do. You cannot be a true tither and a giver and still see yourself broke. They don't go together. They don't even hang out in the same ballpark. You cannot be an, a real tither and a real giver and have a broke mindset. You just can't. Now, you can give 10%, and you can give an offering, and your mind not change, but you can't be a tither and a giver, and your mindset never change. Mm -mm. No, something about your mind has to change, and that's part of that parallel law of the natural and the spiritual realm. See, as you begin to tithe and give, we talked about the last Sunday in Matthew 18 and 18 through 20, how we must harmonize. Your mind begins to be transformed as a result of tithing and giving. It'll transform it. Because why? The spirit of God is on what you own obedience. And when you obey tithing and giving, the spirit of God follows that. When you're doing that according to the word, according to your heart. See, God is searching the heart, not what you gave. He's looking at your heart about it. Do, do you honor it? Do you understand that it's a divine connection to him and all his resources? Or you look at it as just something that passed from your hand to the church, to this local house, and this is where it stopped. No, it does not stop here. This is a tithing church, something that a lot of churches don't do. This is why we can access revelation. You ought to be thankful for that. Or else you'll be still hearing a, a lesson or a sermon that somebody warmed over last year. We can tap revelation because this is a tithing church. And then we can give freely. Why? Because we got revelation about money, right? And when you give, guess what? This church is a giving church. We have at least nine or ten ministries that we give to every single month. That gives you veins that you ought to be rejoicing about. Because the more veins we got open, the easier it is for money to flow to you. Oh, Jesus. So don't shut down your tithing and your giving thinking that uh, God could just back you. He's not. Come on, stand to your feet. God has a system, and we must honor that system, and it's called tithing and giving. And when you're ready to tithe and give, God is ready to receive. Did you know that?